Hi, I'm Zach and today I'm going to show you how to install the BCM Connect. The BCM Connect works on the OpenTherm eBus and EMS bus protocols and there is a link in the description for a full list of compatible boilers. This boiler that we're installing on today uses the eBus protocol, however the process is the same for all three protocols. To start, get your BCM Connect. Each BCM is supplied with printed installation instructions, however these are replicated on the online installation process. The online installation process is accessed by scanning the QR code either on the box or on the device itself and then signing into your Vericon Systems account. By following the instructions on the portal, we start by isolating the supply to the boiler. You should always isolate the main supply before installing or working on any components that require a 230 volt AC supply. Next, we separate the BCM and the wall mount and fix the wall mount to a suitable location near the boiler. The wall mount can be mounted directly to the wall as shown today or can be mounted directly to a back box using the central cable and bolt holes. Next, we will terminate the boiler bus cable and the 230 volt mains cable on the boiler side. To do this, remove the covers to access the boiler PCB. Any link or existing open therm thermostat should be removed from the boiler bus connector before connecting the cable. If you have an eBus or EMS bus thermostat, it should remain connected. The BCM should be connected to the same supply as the boiler. This could be wired into the boiler's 230 volt connections or the fused spur. Next, connect the boiler bus cables into the relevant terminals on your boiler. We will now connect the wires into the BCM's backplate. The 230 volt main supply is terminated on the left hand side. The boiler bus connects into the boiler plus and boiler minus connections on the 12 way header. If an open therm thermostat was connected to the boiler, this should be connected to the OT thermostat plus and minus connections. If you also purchase an autofill, this will be wired into the BCM backplate. However, this will be covered in a separate video. Finally, use the cable clamps to fix the wires in place and then connect the BCM onto the backplate. Make sure you remove the cable knockouts as required. Before moving on, replace the covers on the boiler. Next, reconnect the mains using the isolating switch and complete the install using the online portal that we opened at the start of the install. On this screen, input the occupier ID and location details of the property. The occupier ID can be the asset number or tenant number that relates to your other systems. Fill in the postcode and the system will find the address of the property. Make sure to check the address before continuing. Here, input the boiler manufacturer and model details. Don't worry if you don't know the GC number, this will be automatically filled. If your boiler is not listed, please contact the Vericon system support team. Select any devices that you connected on your installation and then add any additional notes that may be needed, such as the BCM location if it is not obvious. Before clicking next, ensure that the red LED is on and not blinking. The green LED should be blinking at this stage. The system will now contact the BCM to set it up with the correct information. This can take a few minutes to complete. Once completed, you will be greeted with the dashboard screen. How to use this dashboard is covered in a separate video. The green LED on the BCM should now be on and not blinking. If either LED is not on, please refer to the fault finding table on the installation manual that was provided in the BCM box. And that is how you install the BCM Connect. I hope this was an informative video. Please contact support if you encounter any problems. Thanks for watching.